Welcome back. Here is still good morning, number two Tuesday episode. Well loaded. And for those of you that are just joining us, well, we've missed a lot, but um, you're still going to go home with something. Definitely. Welcome. Many thanks for joining us again. Um, uh, we're actually on to the next segment, of course, to uh, bring you um, what we have for you this segment. So just sit back and relax because we have somebody in the house, somebody who is actually going to do justice to the next topic we're going to be discussing this morning. Yes. And uh, what's that topic? Increased funding of public schools. You'll be wondering from child development to public school, all then get towards education. <laughs> did, 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 did you go to a public school? Did you go to a public school? <laughs> no, why? I did. Okay. Yes. So how was life in the public school? Very well then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, and it's often said that um, an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Yeah. And then, perhaps uh, in most African countries, you may not have heard that uh, education is considered as one of the fundamental human rights. Mm. This is the way we're welcoming you to this segment. We we'll have a prof in the house that is going to help us look at this. And he is Professor Dennis Aribodo. He's a lecturer with Namde Azikiwe University. Mm. Prof. Walker. Thank you. Good morning, viewer. Good morning. Okay, good to have you here. Now, we are looking at funding uh, public schools. And when we say public schools, primary, that's basics, secondary, universities. Because when you hear public schools, you think maybe it's, it's just, just a primary <laughs> school. Okay. okay, the universities that are owned by government, all okay. these are public schools, okay? And Prof is here to help us look at that. Prof, how would you assess the level of our public school funding for now? In Nigeria, in Anambra State. Um, generally. generally okay thank you very much okay. it's a very good topic education is the best gift any father mother government can give to his citizen funding funding for public schools this reminds me of the late 70s, early 80s, because I'm a product of public school from primary to secondary to tertiary. To tertiary. And uh, if I am to compare, I am saying it, the funding as at present, whether it is by state governments or by federal government, is very poor. Okay. Extremely poor. To compare to what it used to be? Yes. Be I say it is poor because, yes, you may say that uh, probably a number of states uh, Anambra may be topping some states in Nigeria, but it's still very poor because no, stu no tuition fee, yes, in primary school, they pay 50 naira for exam for primary and the nursery pay 200 naira. Okay. But beyond that, do they provide teaching aids? Very important. Yeah. Are teaching aids provided for teachers to impart knowledge? The answer is no. That's the situation we have in this state. Yes, they pay, they pay, they pay teachers. But even the payment of teachers is still very poor. It is not motivating enough. A teacher in level 15 takes more about 100,000 in current day Nigeria. Mm -hmm. A teacher in NPA takes more about 5,000 naira in current day Nigeria. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the new takes more about uh, 45,000 in current day Nigeria. So you look at this. For me, we have not given education the priority you're supposed to give it. It's still very, we are still very far. Then at the tertiary level, it is worse. Mm. Because, uh, because we have failed to live to the terms of Nigerian constitution, which says that education should be free at all levels. I said they put a proviso there that uh, as long as it is possible. When will it be possible? It takes the will of the government to say it is possible, it's possible. But they say it should be free. Mm. It's not free. In Anambra State, the mission schools pay as much as between 45 and 50,000 naira. And the, mission schools? Yes. I think and you have to take that as the mission, okay, the mission schools this. paid by government. Government collects 3,500 from them, and they use the other one. So the funding is very poor. There's no doubt about that. And uh, you look at the budget of Nigeria in the last three years, education has not gone beyond 8%. Education, the federal government budget, education has not gone beyond 8%. Last year, it was uh, 6 7 
of the total budget. Of the total budget. When we, when even APC government say we should they should they should budget fifteen. APC manifesto said fifteen percent. Okay. UNESCO say it should be twenty six percent, and they're doing six, seven, eight. They was no work and one car. I can never get you a job more here. Okay, but look, 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 more jazz and fara. But looking at it, um, talking about increasing um, um, funding in public school. Well, I think I'm also a product of funding school, both from um, the primary, secondary, and of course the university level. But do you think that um, more funding equals a better school? More funding equals better school. I can tell you that because wow. uh, you can provide more funding without provided, providing for adequate supervision and monitoring. Those that will go to supervise and monitor also need funding. And if the resources are not there to go and do that, they can do that effectively. That brings me to the next question of funding. It's okay, another way of spending. So, but what's the, the correlation between spending and learning? There and is, that's it, because the, more funding, better school, spending. Lenin, Spe what's the correlation? Spending, you mean government spending or parent spending? No, we were talking about funding schools. Yes. Because the thing is not about funding the school, you fund schools, how about the students? Because the aim of funding the school is to... That's what I'm saying now, the best brands that should teach the students do, do not go to teach because there is poor funding, there is poor remuneration there. Mm. It's not the first call for any graduate or for any, any MCE holder. That's not the first call. If he has an opportunity, he won't go there. In the past, the best brands are retained in the primary, secondary, and tertiary. Mm. Today, it's not like that. Because people are running away because there's no money there. Okay, but I know that uh, public schools most time uh, generate uh, funds through levies and um, uh, some of these things they ask uh, children to, to pay. pay. Uh, wouldn't they use such money to you know, improve the funding of the school? Mm -hmm. I am not sure in an state, as we speak today, that the uh, collection of levies are allowed. In fact, if you are caught collecting levy, you are disciplined. Okay. Mm. You can go to the field and investigate this. Okay. So As if you are caught. That is for, for, <laughs> <laughs> that is for <laughs> primary, secondary schools. For tertiary, they pay school fees. Anamese University pays as much as up to 200,000 naira. But for federal, it is lower. You know, it pays between 20 and 30, between. So you cannot run in um, education, at least primary and secondary, let's start from there, the way it is today, without providing resources. We ha Nigeria is in crisis today because we neglected education. We cannot develop above our education. All these security challenges, poverty problems, disease problems, mm. are partly because people are not informed, not well trained. And what is the cause? The environment for the training is not there. Go to the schools. Okay. Is that why our uh, grudges are not employable? Uh, our graduates mm -hmm. are employable. Uh, you heard that one recently. Our they are going to our graduates are employable. Uh, create they, a one-year program to make our graduates employable. That will not solve the problem also. So what in do you think that will solve the in problem? In 2012, Nigeria federal government considered what they call the needs assessment committee to go around the entire country and look at the public universities, state government-owned government And they came out and said that this, these universities require 1.3 trillion naira mm -hmm. as of 2012 to get them back to what they should be as a university. Each? All the universities in Nigeria. Okay, together. Put together. And each money should be released in the budget of 220,000 per annum for six years to revamp the, the universities. It is not done. Is that why you guys are on strike every time? <laughs> we are not on strike every time. It is the government that fails to live up to its responsibility. And it is our duty as Nigerian citizens to hold government accountable. The money there is public money. Okay. It's not anybody's personal money. So every Nigerian has a duty to hold any leader accountable. All right. So um, looking at still the topic, um, we know um, funding comes from the state government, the federal government, and the local government, right? Now, of course, it could vary from state to state. What are the challenges facing increased funding of public schools? For me, the challenge is simple. The political will to address the problem. That's the only challenge. The resources are there. For, for, for basic education, there's a counterpart fund government brings. Mm. Some state governments in this country cannot bring the counterpart fund that says two times what they should have. Because the, the, because the priority is not right. Education is not right for them. Their children are not in public, in public schools. Their children do not attend public hospitals, so they don't care. 
So part of what we will do is to even work for a law that once a public worker, public servant, president, governor, whatever, your children will attend public institutions. That is where we will begin and everybody will sit up. Yes, I was going to ask you what to do to make sure that our schools are properly uh, funded. And uh, you have started much, uh, my, uh, you know, bringing them out. One of them is to make sure that uh, every public officer, your children or your child, Attempt is in public, public school. school. Yes. Because if they're there, I'm sure you wouldn't leave any stone and turn to make sure that uh, you will um, fund the school properly for everybody to benefit. And then we have some private schools around. Is there any role that the private sector can, you know, play in funding schools, both private and public? Because I know some people uh, organize themselves as uh, old boys and then they build structures and yeah. they fund their old schools. They are armor matters. Yes. Old boys can come in. But the old boy or old girl to come in is one that is happy. Okay. <laughs> yes, he has to be happy. <laughs> because the school he went to, he didn't get the best from that. In all the public primary schools in, in Anambra State today, none of them is given textbook. And the schools are banned from selling textbooks. Go and investigate. Oh, you mean the private schools? I mean the government school. Public school for us is, public, is government schools. The other one is private schools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the word public for us means government. Okay. Yes, that's how, that's how I want to define it. Mm -hmm. So all these schools, they don't have these books. What, what about this one they call UBE? And uh, sometimes that, when you get them in primary, yeah. I, I mean, when you get the books, they say it's not for sale, but then the private schools will sell it to their... It's to their not that we are books. talking to now. It's not UBE there. UBE books are not It's not again. there. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there. I made my investigation before, before coming here. I went to schools. I interacted with the pupils. I interacted with teachers. Some aspects that are trying, paying school fees regularly and the rest of them. But, but teaching, I know that recently ed. the government is calling for authors to come and register uh, 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 in the school, to register with ASBEM. That if you are not so you are publishing uh, school, I mean books that are used in schools, that they should come and register. At least they know how to work out things that is with, the, with the publishers and I, get books from them. I wrote, pay them, I, I, they don't come. I am an author. Okay. I'm an author. Do you write I'm a, an I'm a professor. academic work? I wrote a book on malaria, and malaria is a topical disease in Africa and in Nigeria. No, it's not that, a textbook that is used in primary no, school. It's, it's, primary it's, and secondary no, schools. It, was, it can be used in secondary school. This, 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 the state government Ministry of Education approved, recommended it. Okay. But it's my product. They didn't buy it. Are you I'm, saying? I'm, I'm not, I'm not no, are you saying it's, it's a, a book that can come under the curriculum of the school? Of course. School levels? Of course. Of course, because mm -hmm. uh, malaria is one disease that takes so much money from Nigeria in private government. So if we can get it by our side, by eliminating it, that money that we are spending on it can go into all that good things. Mm -hmm. So, okay. so we, but the, the, the idea there is that right out as writing, we can come into register. That is one thing. Do government support the secondary issue? Is there any government support in publishing these books and, 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 and making them available? That is what the government wants to do. That, that's why they ask them to come okay, and register. Okay, let's, but people let's, are not fought with. And, and you know, hmm. when you tell them to come and do something, they feel they the government wants they to take everything free yes, from, from them. them. You understand? Is a, is they a, are not coming. It's an experience. Do you know that even a minister in the government of Nigeria, while serving, say that he himself does not trust government? A minister in government. It simply means we don't trust, we don't trust ourselves. No, we, don't, um, so we are that, all part of government. So that is it. That okay. is it. Most no. of us, we don't even We are not ourselves. part of government. I wouldn't have said I'm part of not? government. We are not. Because you don't determine how they get there. Can you, you that are saying that, can you go and pay 500,000 or 1 million or 500 million to, to, buy, to buy your farm? Do you have the money? So you're not part of government. No, that is why. That when is when you are not a political officer, I mean, uh, appoint, appointee or elected officer, does not mean that you're not part of government. Wherever you are, you we, are we, part of we, government. Yes, and we also make the decisions. Yes, you because understand. you can, by, by you, electing, you can, electing. You, you can say that, but you and I know that this is not what is in the field. Okay. It's not what is happening in the field. Because okay, let's move ahead. <laughs> no, the, the, All right, the, 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 let's move ahead. The, What's the way out now? What do we do? Yes. What do we do to what, what fund we, our schools what, properly? What we should do is this. If we have agreed that 26% of our budget should go to education, okay. we should start gradually to hit that mark. Okay. The Houses of Assembly should ensure that it is implemented and passed 
executive should ensure that those money is released and monitor their usage. That okay. is one. We are not advocate for tuition free because Nigeria is not right for tuition. Okay. Nigeria is still very poor. Tuition free at what level of education? At all level for now. Mm. There should be tuition, but the problem we have is that gradually government is abdicating from its responsibility of funding education. And that's why you see private schools, primary, secondary, tertiary, flown in places. Go and check the quality there. Mm. Go and check the quality. For the public universities, it is a it is it is it is it is a it is a, it is a fallacy because mm. it, they still push the government universities to take people there. The quality, okay. quality assurance is not there. So okay. the first thing we have to do is that government should take responsibility. When government takes responsibility, people, people say government is doing government is doing well. Individuals can now start supporting. Supporting. Okay, government should take responsibility of funding education as at a, at a, all levels. That's what we have agreed this morning yeah. so that uh, it will encourage individuals to now come in and of course thank we can you actually much. have better students yes thank you very much hey, thanks thank for coming uh, thank professor you. dennis Aribodo. i love your name i like calling it <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> thank okay you. thank you very much for coming many thanks okay abby we will go and uh, um, take the news at nine o'clock yes sure you know. and we will be right back very and much. when we come back <laughs> the party is still on don't go anywhere all right thank you